Welcome back to Co Infinite. Bitcoin and Ethereum crash. Do you think this is a price decline? Bitcoin dominance has come up with a new low recently. I remind you in my last video that the entire market will go down when it falls to 39% to 40%. And each of these crash has happened three times in history. His rate repeats itself again here and it runs so well. So, if it starts to rebound here, I will short all coins, including Ethereum, ETC, etc. I will explain what happened with the market and the reasons for shorting through our technical analysis. Before the video starts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell to get the latest crypto trading strategies. Let's look at the 4 hour time frame of Ethereum. In my video on September 5th, I provide a short selling plan for you on Ethereum. It was a good short selling chance after this false breakout at FIBS 1.13 and then FIB below the previous high again. And as we can see right now, Ethereum continues to rise again here. I think it is the formal buying of Ethereum merge that pushes up the price. But the rising power in the later period has begun to weaken, and there was a great upper week and smaller rise. These are all the signs that the strength of Ethereum to coming to up is coming to its lowest. At the same time, it has reached the highest point of the bear flag pattern, as you can see right here. It forms a head and shoulder top at a minute time frame, and then it broke down. So where will Ethereum go? I will look at the daily time frame. There will be support near the bottom of this green candle, near 1428. And in terms of the daily structure, it should be a decline because it's going down. And it will move sideways at 1400 for about a week. And finally, I think it will continue to fall to the 1279 US dollars which is a very strong support for exchanging. And whether we can continue to short Ethereum will depend on Bitcoin dominance. We need to see a rebound and then find a structure to short Ethereum or other altcoins. This is how we look at the Ethereum right now. Let's look at the daily time frame of Bitcoin, which now has fallen to the support range near 18k600. This is very critical. If it falls below, the chance of the previous low of the 70k600 to hold is very small. So everyone should be very careful about this. For now, although this is a support area, there has not been a strong rebound signal yet, and we cannot do long for now. At the same time, there are many people who are shorting near around the 19k. The worst transaction is crowded trading, short when everyone shorts which is the main reason why the most people lose money. Let's have a look at the 4 hour time frame. This decline is in the form of a convergence triangle or the breakthrough in the box. There's no right or wrong in every analysis. The reason why it is called a convergence triangle is because that it is obvious the high point is dropping. So, it is a good chance to sell short if it finally falls below this triangle. If you are already shorting Bitcoin, then the trading volume has been released a lot and you can choose to take profit first. If Bitcoin continues to fall, it will depend on whether Bitcoin dominance continues to decline. If it rebounds, the funds in all coins will return, roll into the Bitcoin again and begin to rebound and retest. It is expected to consolidate around 18k600. So, don't be too bearish when making contracts in a bear market, you should always take profits in batches to avoid extra profit loss. The above is my analysis of Bitcoin and Ethereum, my views are for reference only. If you like my video and think it's helpful for you to trade, do subscribe, like, and share at the same time. Thank you very much for watching, we'll see you in the next time.